couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which we're gonna continue to explore the 12 string guitar in our 12 string series. So um, I want you to tune your 12 string guitar to open D minor, dad fad tuning, D-A-D-F-A-D, -A -A -D, the most incredible open tuning of all. And I know it's, it's a pain to tune a 12 string, but you get used to it. And D minor, open D minor tuning is the absolute, just listen to this, the, the absolute best open tuning you will ever play, okay? And this lesson will demonstrate why, okay? Because open D, open G, open E, open uh, D sus, you know, the dad gad tuning, They're, they are all still confining you to certain sounds. Okay, they're still confining you either to the blues or to the major key. Open D minor doesn't. Open D minor is um, at least the only <clears throat> tuning that I found that actually enables exploration. So, um, in case you're wondering where the dogs are, you haven't watched the previous lessons, uh, this is a huge guitar and uh, they're a little bit scared of it, so they're not joining us for this series. Okay, so... Even if you just play it... Okay, randomly, just randomly. And again, I'm gonna repeat my method here after each bass string, okay, harmonized as an octave, okay, after each bass string, I play strings one and two, or one or two, okay. Okay, I'm just playing randomly, but I'm focusing on strings three to six. about open D minor tuning is that you can do anything you want on it. Let's start by simple things. You can play the same fret on strings 1 and 4. Okay? But you can also just play it on the 4th, the, the D string, because you already have that octave. You don't, you don't have to play the 1st string. You don't you don't have to double that note because it's already doubled. Now, I know that the guitar is not perfectly tuned, but that's the beauty of a 12 string. It doesn't have to be perfectly tuned, okay? That's the effect you want to get. If it's perfectly tuned, it doesn't sound as wide. That's another 12 string method. So you can just play around on the D string, okay? While playing all the other strings. You don't have to play the minor scale. You don't have to just stick to 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. You don't have to stick to it. playing one, I'm just playing the first fret, just the D string. See how wide this tuning is? You can play the same fret on strings one and three for another weird sound. Just playing the same fret. I'm not doing anything complicated. I'm just playing random strings 
and I'm playing the same fret on strings one and three. You might think that I'm doing something complicated, but it's all the 12 string. It's the 12 string sound. That's why I love this tuning so much. Try it for yourself and you'll see. You can try a D7 shape. Or a full diminished chord. Okay? Which is let's say three two three two on strings one, two, three, and four. This might get a little bit too much. You see, because you want as many open strings as you can get. You want as many open strings as you want. You can just play random notes and then open the strings again. I'm just playing uh, chromatics. Just chromatics. I'm playing uh, one shape, basically. I'm playing two frets up between strings three and four. So I was playing, I don't remember what I was playing, but... I think I started from eight and ten, and then I just... I opened it, then I did it on seven. And then I just went down. And if you're playing the open first and second strings with it and hit the bass every now and then, you get something that sounds way more complicated than it is. Now, you can, you can use uh, normal um, pentatonic clicks here, you can... You can do 3-0 for a blue sound. Okay, but try to spice it up a little. Robbie Basho kind of style. Okay, now you can put bars on. Take them back off. On three. On one. On six. It just works. It just works. It just put a bar on. Um, what else? You can try different shapes. You can just try random shapes. This was a complete accident. I was I was playing uh, five five four three. There was no reason for it. I just said, okay, let's put my fingers somehow, and it worked. Which is what I what I always say about open D minor that everything you put on it works. Putting on uh, on strings five four three and putting on five six four. Again, no reason. Just tried it. It worked. I tried it upwards and it didn't, so I took it down and it did. So if a shape doesn't work, just try moving it around, and sometimes it will. You can try. 
just barring a part of the, not barring, but playing a part of the barred chord. For example, on strings six, five, and four, you can play two, two, and two. You can play three, three, and three. You can play five, you can play seven, I think. If you want a major chord, you just need to put one on the third string. And then let it go and make it minor again. Huh, just beautiful. You can play harmonics. And let it go with that. It's a 12 string, so I think you can produce the harmonic on 9, if you want, or, or, or 4. Eh? You can hear it a little bit. So that's open D minor uh, tuning. So um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you uh, the next lesson. And um, practice this until the next installment of the 12 string series. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.